guys welcome back to the farm hey we're gonna fire that bagger up we've got the uh, headlands of a new seating cut we're chopping that he's got a load here full for me uh she looks like she's getting a little dry on us but then we've got prime second cutting down there that i cut with the grant man the other day so a lot of shopping today see how we got some animals that like the and the coons that tear in them bags so we're staying staying on these with traps oh my buddy Mike was already here. I texted him bright and early. I was locking the cows in the milk, milk this morning. And I'm always curious. And one was caught in that trap. And this trap will roll all the way out here and empty. So these coons are getting smart. They're barrel rolling and it'll pop open. So when I walked out here pitch black, just kind of like taking it all in. I love them mornings quiet. I seen something scurry in the corn. So the, the coons are coming out of the corn you know, so the end of this bag is just going to be heated right up by the time I get to it. But we're, we're trying to take them coons out. Uh, damage control because that's the problem with the bags. They're picky. But it's better than losing your life in one of them silos. Anyway, let's fire this up. going to be a long day. 79, 80 degrees. So I'm happy about that. Good working conditions. The wife, Rochelle, she'll be coming shortly. Bring us a lunch, a thermos. Let's rock and roll. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah! Had some dew last night. We'll drop this for, for old Marky. Here he comes with another one. guys that's the way it's got to be I'm finding out that's how I always did my corn silage but I'm finding out digging out of that hay bag you want it tighter the better it helps with it pulling but I just filled that wagon this morning and it's working a lot better with the bucket let me know if you guys use this a bucket to load haylage out of a bag the bucket's just gonna work fine.
guys lunch delivery you saw that we'll dig into that in a bit look at they got the headlands off apparently of that new seating second cutting prime we'll check that out in just a, a few seconds here i'm going to fire up but i wanted to show you this is our rented piece my old wrestling coach's field it's kind of low here water runs that's why the corn but up here in michigan where i always say you want to tile your fields it was funny when i was down with those people in, from nebraska and texas they irrigate they don't tile well up here here's the difference between tile and non-tile this field's tiled this field's tile this is our main back 40 opposed to a non-tiled we have got to drain the water up here in michigan but, but this is a great representation i mean look at that just massive great representation of tile and non-tile amazing how that stuff works let's keep going I've got Lonnie unloading the rest of that wagon maybe another one I showed him how to bag first cutting he's filled in for me just for a minute but I want to check these bunks you know 80 degrees but they're they're hanging low in these barns this will help get them out they it got some feed oh that cow's there she's up they've got some feed but I want to make sure they got enough I always want to make sure because we got some heifers those heifers are getting close to calf i want to make sure they're not a calf or anything funky going around and then i'll head back out there and we're going to keep bagging hey babe how you doing buddy we'll be on on up check it out and there's your mixture haylage corn silage and grain out of the bag but yet i'm still running a little out of that second silo still trying to empty it but that's some beautiful, beautiful last year's fermented cool haylage doing these cows real well. They're starting to line up now. I tell you, I've, I've really liked the way this has been working out, this feeding. I know I'm really onto it. Uh, like I said, filling that wagon, I'm getting better. Soon it'll be a mixer, but with just a bucket i mean shoot i've only been doing this for about two three weeks i didn't dip into that hay bag until the first of july so still green at it and i'm i'm just finally now after a few weeks hitting hitting one of my first strides of comfortability
next morning we are on the road there's your new seating cut chopped and i rolled it last night I got the big ramp man i'll show you this tractor in disbine when we get the field we're going to cut some 60 acres down dad's there with that newer tractor and disbine there's your third cutting growing back nicely corn's looking good very uniform There's dad on our heels right there trying to cut this headland. I'm going to line this up. There's your PTO. We are engaged. Let me line this up. Just like that, we are rolling. I'm in C2. I may bump this up to C C3. Full blossom, pretty much. This is a 60 acre that we're going to take this cutting off and that'll probably be it we're going to roll this over this will be corn next year what i do in this tractor too is i'll clutch it and then coast into it as i'm raising up throttling down there's dad we're in the back of the field i cranked this up to c2 and boy is she she cooking grant sees him he says there's a tractor he's cutting the last six sixth headland so that my, my turn won't be as tight. I'm throttling up. I'm going to lay it down. And away we go. There he goes. Grant, we got to watch what we're doing. Look. We got to keep her straight, bud. He's checking him out. Making a turn, bud. Guys, I wanted to give out real quick. We're on the back side of the field ditch there. Chopping corn on the other side of another drainage ditch. There's a dry cow lot. But 1977 4240 reman motor runs like a top. AC unit, everything works properly. When we bought this, They've got these tires spread out extremely wide. And I know a lot of guys have said in the past, you might break an axle, but it's extremely comfortable and it takes the jolt of these fields. This is a brand new Dispine last year. New Holland Dispine 316 Momax 2. Uh, we're, we like the nice Dispines. You had a lot of guys ask, how do you like them? We love New Holland paying equipment and we like John Deere tractors. What can I say? So let's get back in. Grant's wondering what we're doing. I just wanted to give you a rundown, but this is a 1977 and a 2023 disc pine. Let's go. Grant's smiling. He's in a good mood. PTO. How many of you guys ever rode? with your dad or grandpa in one of these 70s 42 series tractors. I know I've spent a lot of time, not in this one in particular, but many like it. This is tractors that dad and grandpa used to have. Can't beat these old horses. And now Grant, Grant gets to join, hold on bud, he gets to join the fraternity. I'm just putting this up. A little over 2,000 RPMs, and I'm leaving it. Guys, good news. My wife made bread and I peanut butter and jellies. Can't beat it. Ladybug on the 
glass and I was explaining to him it was a crow swooping in and out. He's watching that crow and I said he's eating field mice. Okay, we're cutting this. He's watching it in the tractor. There's birds, birds flying around like crazy when you're cutting hay like this. Beautiful day guys. There's a good shot of them closing the gap. Nearing the end, we ended up getting right behind Dad here. Out of the way, shutting my PTO off, idling down. Dad wants that last swath. He was waiting for it. He was waiting for it. Check him out, Grant. He's getting finished in the field. That is all she wrote. Good five, bud. Heading by the dry cow lot. Surprisingly, no cars at this point. Alright guys, I just ran them out some more feed. Hot one. Grant's learning the ropes. Come on, bud, we gotta go shut this off. Looking good. 